What's going on everybody, Matt from Oz Lego Collections. Welcome back to the channel. So today I thought we'd do a Lego room tour showing you some of the updates we've made since the previous video and also some stuff we're gonna be adding in the near future. Also, we are gonna be announcing the two winners from last month's giveaway, which I'm really excited about. Okay, so before we jump into the video, you guys know my drill. Remember to hit the subscribe button down below and turn all your notifications on. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. Let's try and get it to 500 likes. And remember to leave a comment down below and let me know what part of the Lego room is your favorite. Okay guys, without further ado, let's go check out the Lego room. So the first thing we see as soon as we walk into the Lego room is these shelving units to the right. Now these are also the latest addition we've made to the Lego room. And as you can see, it is filling up pretty quick with Lego sets already. Now the top section of the shelving, I've just started doing some mock dioramas, which I'm really excited about. The first one that we've just started working on is the Jurassic Park gate. So I plan to do a bit of a Jurassic Park theme in this corner here. So I'm really excited and look forward to seeing how that's gonna come out. Towards the center part of the shelving, I've done the Star Wars Ewok Village and have added some LEDs in that as well. So I've almost completed that. I've still got a bit of foliage and detailing to do, but that's coming along really great. And over to the far right, I will be doing a Pirates of Barracuda Bay mock so this is just a rough plan of how everything's going to be laid out so i'm really excited to do that a bit of a pirate thing now just below that we have some batmobilia now that will all go because i'm planning to do a underwater mock and sort of join it with the top part of the ocean so i'm really excited to do that project still mapping it all out so that's going to take a quite some time to do so in the meantime i'm just displaying some of the batman sets that i have now over to the far left i have yoda's hut which i built some years ago and i really like this one over the new one that's about to come out i don't know what you guys think about the new one but i don't think i'll be picking that set up i'm quite happy with the one that i've built to the left of that, we've got the Iron Man mock uh, that you saw in my last video. And over to the far left, just below where the Jurassic Park theme is going to be, is uh, another work in progress, and that is the Star Wars Hoth scene. So I've started mapping out a little bit on how I want that to look, but I've got about 40 projects on the go at the moment, so I kind of dabble in a little bit of each project as I go and hopefully get to complete them all eventually and we just have a few extra shelving down the bottom here which I have yet to fill up and also got to find somewhere to put the McLaren Formula One which is my latest build absolutely love that model vehicle Formula One race car whatever you want to call it I'm not a real big Technic fan. This is my first Technic set. And to be honest, I did quite enjoy it. Would I build another Technic set? Mm, probably not, <laughs> I'll be honest. But being a big F1 fan, uh, I definitely powered through it and built it. Okay guys, hold up one sec. Before we continue on with the video, here are the two subscribers who won last month's giveaway. So winner number one, which will be getting the Dark Trooper attack set, goes to Old Bricks AU. Now, this is one of my favorite builds most recently, so I really do hope that you enjoy building this as much as I did. And winner number two, who gets this awesome Venom helmet, goes to Andrew Thornton. Now, between this and the Carnage helmet, Venom is definitely my favorite, which is why I decided to pick this one as the winning prize. So I hope you enjoy this as much as I do, and look forward to seeing it displayed in your Lego room. So big congratulations to both those winners. 
Now, I will be doing another giveaway next month and picking a random subscriber. So for your chance to win one of the giveaways, all you need to do is remember to hit that subscribe button down below and turn all your notifications on. And most importantly, remember to leave a comment down below. Okay guys, back to the video. Now moving up, before we get into what I've got displayed in my cabinets, just above that, I've got the Darth Vader buildable figure. Next to Darth Vader's Black Series lightsaber, which is really cool. I absolutely love having that on display. And I've got a Batwing from one of the earlier sets. Now over to the right, just above the door, we have the 1989 Batwing in all its glory. And I've basically mounted that on a round board that I've painted white, so it has that effect that it's hovering over the moon like in the movie. Now this is also a new addition to the room. It wasn't in my last video of my LEGO Room Tour update, so I'm really happy that it's finally up. Now this is the first thing you do see when you walk into the LEGO Room, obviously apart from the shelving, but I honestly think that anybody that has this set needs to display it on the wall because I think it just looks fantastic. Now just over to the right of that, we have some Marvel 3D light displays. And I've got the bat, bat rang, batarang next to that too, just around my TV. And I think they just look really cool. Just below the TV, I have my minifigure frame, which is almost complete. I haven't had a chance to get around to doing that, but I really like how it's coming along. Now, if you guys have any sig figs that you'd like to send me, please do. My address is in the description down below, and I'll be happy to add your sig figs in one of these rows here, or I'll even add it into the city. So make sure you check out my address down below and send me your minifig, and I will happily put it in the frame and show you in the next video. So back to the cabinet. Apart from Lego, I do love collecting uh, a lot of other different things and themes. One of them is the collectible helmets. So I have Darth Vader's Black Series helmet on display, which looks absolutely incredible. Just below that, I have the White Ranger helmet with the Power Morpheter, and I've also got the White Ranger figure. Now, I do double in a little bit of Pokemon, so I have some Pokemon cards on display, which are some of my favorite cards. I don't know if anyone else is a Pokemon fan, but I do love collecting. I love the artwork on some of the cards. And I'm a big Ninja Turtle fan, if you haven't guessed it yet. So I've got some Ninja Turtle figures and bubble heads on display, which I absolutely love. Now over to the main shelf, which you generally see in most of my videos. I've got some more buildable figures down below. And I also have some more Star Wars sets and mocks on display. This is mainly my Star Wars shelf. Now I'm thinking of moving these Star Wars helmets and I'm actually thinking of adding a floating shelf all the way along here possibly moving the frame and putting all the buildable helmets all along here. So let me know what you guys think of that idea. That's probably one of the small changes that I'm thinking of doing in the Lego room moving forward. So I'd love to hear your thoughts, which again would free up some space here in this shelving and I can utilize it and put some other sets on display. But overall, this is my entire or most of my Star Wars shelving display which i really like and again you always see it mainly in most of my videos i've also got the x-wings above that and we have kylo ren's shuttle and the Millennium falcon just above that also the imperial shuttle a tie fighter and the y-wing all along that top part of the shelf and moving below that we've got one of the Force Awakens TIE Fighters. 
Luke Skywalker's lightsaber and I've also got one of the Venom helmets and some more Star Wars sets and brick heads and the Lunar Lander just sitting there all by itself. So before we head over to the other side of the shelving, this is my building table and where I edit all my videos. And just over to the other side, I've got a few more Star Wars sets just above here, which I will be moving to a different spot because this whole shelving will be my Marvel and DC display. Now this is another prop that I have, which I really like. It's Tony Stark's arc reactor. And I thought it looked really good next to some of the Iron Man Lego sets that I have on display here, such as the Hulkbuster and the Iron Man helmet. Just below that, I've got the Spider-Man bridge. And below that, we've got the 1989 Batmobile with the Batman cowl next to that. So just next to this shelving, I have another cabinet with some helmets on display, which I'll show you in a moment. But just above that, we've got Kylo Ren's Black Series lightsaber and the buildable figure. Now, I really love how these lightsabers look on display. Now, just below that, we've got Kylo Ren's Black Series helmet. And below that, we've got the Red Ranger helmet from the last Power Ranger movie. Also got some Power Ranger figures on display. And just below that, some more Ninja Turtle figures from the 1990 movie, which are my absolute favorite. So just next to the cabinets, to the back end of the Lego room, we have the Lego City. So we have plenty more updates to come on the Lego City, but we will move on and show you that in the next video. Below the Lego City, we have the Ninja Turtle Lair. I also have another shelving unit underneath here, which has my dinosaur fossils, the Flintstone set, and I've also started displaying some of my son's Lego that we've been building together. And I've just got some miscellaneous parts and some base plates just stored away that need to be used and also found a new home for. Now I've also relocated the bat cave. I initially had that at the front of the Lego room, but now I've located it underneath the city just to allow me to have some more room and I think that looks really good under there once I get around to finishing it. I might even join it up to the Lego City. I haven't decided yet, but I really do think it looks good. And if you step back here, when you walk back and you get a good view of the entire Lego City, I think it just fills up the space underneath and looks really, really good next to the Ninja Turtle Lair and the other display unit. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed the LEGO Room Tour update. I hope you have a happy and safe Easter weekend and we'll catch you in the next video. See ya.